Hey, welcome back and in today's video Sub Sunday do the sub Sunday dance if I had one I would we're coming up on 20,000 subscribers um, Maybe I'll swim in 20,000 cookies But in today's sub Sunday sub Sunday is the day that I usually pick uh, from viewer videos and then I did the interview yesterday for the radio podcast thing and um they asked me if I ever made enemies on YouTube and I said how many uh like enemies have you made on YouTube um well that's a question <laughs> I don't want to say enemies as so much as misunderstood I guess sure. uh, the very first uh I guess if you guys want to call it enemy I don't want to call it enemy uh, I believe the person that got the maddest at me ever was probably Titanic Sinclair. Yeah. He, he uh, so basically not enemies as much as misunderstood. The full podcast will be out, I think they're releasing it Tuesday, and when that uh, releases, you can go to the Repsola Twitter, and you're going to want to follow that to keep up with the news. So, you guys want me to uh, talk about when Titanic Sinclair uh, sent me DMs and emails and stuff like that and I figured I could release a little bit of that because it seems really relevant in this current situation um, he actually reached out to me in a very abusive manner and I actually have that um, I'm gonna reach out to the other youtubers that he he said really bad things about me to and if I can grab those DMs um, I'll get back to you on that. The screenshots have since been deleted, but basically he was sending me screenshots about of comments that from my videos that he didn't like. He said, do you not see how creepy this makes you look? Pretty weird. Anyway, I hope rehab is going okay. Is Rachel still in the hospital? I was going to reach out to Kenny, but I figured I'd ask you first. If you talk to Brianna, tell her I still want to take her and her grandmother Linda out to Red Lobster. Have a nice day. This is awful right off the bat with all the controversy that's going on with him currently about his abusive and psychological abuse of behavior he is literally trying to psychologically abuse me now and at the time it really did affect me because he's saying my family's members names um, that's not public I don't see how he figured them out um, the only thing that I could figure out was that he more than likely uh, got a different Facebook account uh, a fake one or got somebody else to and I accidentally accepted that account I've since been way more protective but information that he would only know if he was on my personal Facebook um, he asked me how rehab was going if you remember I was ran over by a car and I had to go to rehabilitation to learn how to walk again so he brings that up and he asks about is Rachel still in the hospital that was my aunt and she has since passed away I was going to reach out to Kenny who is my father but I figured I'd, I'd talk to you first. And then he goes on to try to intimidate me uh, by bringing up my ex, Brianna. And I uh, asked if he was going to take her and uh, her grandmother out to dinner. He, he says, he literally says, I still want to take her and her grandmother, Linda, out to Red Lobster. Implying that he has spoken to my ex-girlfriend, uh, who I reached out to at the time. And the, he, no, there was no communication between uh, him and her. But the fact that he would even do this, man, this speaks not only a lot on his character, but on, with the ongoing lawsuit, I feel like this may help that. He was very upset with the video that I made um, uh, about him being arrested because the community was like, had he ever been arrested? And he did, which I didn't release any uh, private information on that. Everything was public. He said, I understand the way, the way I see it is stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. People are always going to criticize and condemn and you cannot let stuff like that get under your skin, man. You have a good direction going for you and I would like to see you accomplish your greater vision. And this is way before all of the... Um, uh, abuse and lawsuit and he says the way I see it and the way everyone else sees it is you photoshopped a photo of me in a jumpsuit trying to clickbait people into watching your videos it's honestly disgusting dude 
You are so disrespectful to me, Poppy and Mars. Please take that stuff down. There was one point in the conversation where he said, you are so sad. Lying to fans of my work about me talking to you and praising your YouTube channel. Good God, please get mental help. And again, this is another tactic to psychological abuse. Um, whether he knows he's doing it, if, if he is conscious of the fact that he is doing this, I have no idea. Because clearly, he was reaching out to me, and he doesn't know that I, I know that other YouTubers were telling me what he was saying to them about me trying very awful things, to be honest with you. I actually said, this, this is when I got a little upset, and I said, The picture is being painted clearer. I don't see an intellectual person acting on this manner. That's right. Ripzilla told him. He got told. But, uh... There was a lot more to the conversations, and uh, I didn't like them. I, I eventually uh, just told him to just leave me alone, you know? And that's pretty much where that ended, at least uh, uh, from me and him. But I really just feel like this type of behavior plays along with how he is currently, uh, how the lawsuit is currently uh, pegging him to be. It, it's just not, it's not tasteful. Um, a YouTuber of his stature, at the time I was a very small channel, he should not be reaching out uh, to me anyways. And I knew that he was reaching out to even smaller channels than mine and uh, being using the same type of manipulation and abuse. He, I can't tell you how many of his uh, copyright strikes came my way, fake copyright strikes, copyright strikes without reason on videos that had nothing to do with him. It was pretty, it got pretty annoying and I'm glad that ended up uh, last year. But no, I, I don't make enemies in YouTube. Uh, I, I, like I said in that interview the other day, um, it's just a misunderstanding. I kind of always believe that between two people, um, we're all kind of trying to say the same thing. We're just using different words and, and definitions for those things. So we get a little heated to try to uh, get across our points at times. So I just feel like things are just misunderstandings. But in this case, it seems to be how just how this person is and I don't blame uh, I am a very compassionate person um, I believe that everyone is evolving at a different rate uh, he might have some things going on uh, that we don't know about the thing is is that we truly don't know what is going on in other people's lives we will never be able to know exactly what another person is thinking not one two people think the same thing about a situation and so if we can just understand that we don't need to argue about those things we can move on and just lead a lot of healthier and happier lives that being said and as interesting as this is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up dislikes and as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video this was a shorter video because I'm gonna I'm gonna do a live stream after this, so stay tuned for that. Because I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're Greg. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turned on and be in the comment section to every single video. Because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there, and the rest of the Rep Squad community is going to be there. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you.